And welcome back folks, welcome back to Let's Play Fallout. When you last left off, something very strange has happened had happened with Ian. Um I'm not sure how that happened. But the problem was that we that I couldn't physically talk to Ian anymore because the icon was that of um a grabbing hand and not a face. I actually had to reload the save from episode 31. And play back to this point because I also um, there was a second problem namely that we got a certain gun as a reward from a quest we did for Irwin and that gun I actually gave to Ian which I forgot but when I checked um, my last save Ian actually didn't have this gun anymore so something very weird happened and um, yeah, that is actually not due to any children stealing because Fallout 1 doesn't actually have kids that steal your items, that is in Fallout 2, which I sort of mixed up in my mind. Okay. Anyway, now, um, yeah, Tichu is equipped with this gun that I just mentioned, this modified um, yeah, gun that uses 2.223 ammunition which actually tissue does not have but anyway um yeah so we had the plan to go to necropolis and i think we shall do that um but first i shall give one red scorpion tail to um razzlo and get a poison cure for that okay now we can leave um Yeah, our character, by the way, still needs a few points to get it to the next level, and we still have some, yeah, 138 days to complete the water crest. It's not that pressing. However, I still want to uh, manage to complete the water quest first. I actually forgot where Necropolis is. Um, I hope it's not too far away. But I ah there. So it's it's not far from the hub actually. And do we get a safe travel? Yes we do. Okay, we enter through the Hotel of Doom. Yeah, it looks very doomy. Okay. You approach a dark and broken city. Little life can be seen. A stench of death surrounds the area. Ooh, and yeah, there are zombie ghouls in here. Um, I actually think that they don't attack you unless you provoke them. Uh, never mind. <laughs> they actually do attack you without, yeah. I think it is in the in Fallout 2 that um, that uh, you can actually talk to them, but here you have to kill them apparently. Oops. Okay. That ghoul was killed. Um, can we just? Okay, you can't run away from the combat. Yeah. In this in this game, the ghouls are portrayed. Um, if you can even call it, you can use that verb. I just, yeah, portray it as enemies, uh, as monsters that are, but these ghouls are in fact mutated humans. And in the second, um, in Fallout 2, they actually, yeah, there's. They're not aggressive, um, and you can even talk to them. But here we have to f kill them, unfortunately. Google was critically hit in the eyes for 33 hit points, and the eye <laughs> explodes like a blood sausage. Ah. Those lovely text descriptions. Uh, what is with my mouse cursor? 
Oh, okay. It just during combat um, disappears. Okay, I just for a moment I thought that this game would have crashed again or did something stupid, but no. Okay. Uh, I actually don't know which part um, is best to target for these ghouls, but I guess the head is always a good option. Okay, we can have one more for an unarmed, uh, untargeted hit. Okay. Um, okay. If memory serves, this location actually features enemies which are much, 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 much more dangerous than these ghouls. Um, and also are much larger. I'm not looking forward at all to encountering them. <laughs> we see a yield sign, okay. Uh, can we enter this building? I think uh, we have already entered it. I don't know exactly how because I didn't see it. Ah, there's a door, I think. Um, and there's a... Okay. I think... Um, I should probably not talk to him, given the fact that... Last time I did talk to a, try to talk to a ghoul, he just attacked me without warning. But I see an angry ghoul. What are you doing here? Um, searching for the remains of the future past. What do you say? I'm looking for lost technology. Oh, no, not that around here. Maybe up at that temple or at that water place. Get that going. But I will. Can I? I want to loot your bookshelf. Okay. The bookshelf is empty, actually. Okay, there's a temple in here, apparently. And some stim packs, yes. I almost said. Uh, wanted to say Yavol. And there are some. I think this only contains nuclear colas. Oh, it's a broken machine. Can't use it anyway. Hmm. I have some dynamite. Why not? Um. Is that a computer? Yeah. The equipment appears to be non-functional. I'm not surprised. Can we actually talk to this? Okay, I'm... Uh, okay, he tells us not to bother him. Suppose. Hmm. Set makes sure of that. Okay. Who is set or what? What maybe is set? Okay, apparently these guys do not have the need of the water merchants, clearly. Um, have we talked to him yet? Okay. He doesn't want to engage in conversation. Um, I'm not sure... Wait. What are you? I'm a ghoul. You never seen a ghoul before? No. Well, now you have. Get out of here. Okay, apparently there are ghouls and there are zombie ghouls. Uh, can we actually barter with him? <laughs> okay, no, he won't. Hmm. I'm an explorer. Ack! Don't you be exploring any of my stuff. Get out of here. I mean it. Okay, let's not aggro these zombie ghouls. Um, 
There are some more. Okay. Apparently there are ghouls and zombie ghouls. And the zombie ghouls are aggressive, while the normal ghouls are not. Despite the fact that I think they... They have actually the same model. Hmm. Oh. Didn't think that he would uh, get aggressive. But I guess if he was going through my stuff, I would also. Kind of. Ah. And now we have to deal with these ghouls too. Can we just... Leave each other alone, please. Uh... Uh oh. I hope not, we're not, that we're not up against this whole town. Also, I hope that the. Okay, the game did not crash, in fact, it just. Combat tech. Combat. Um, sometimes takes very long if there are a lot of parties involved. I think you can actually set the uh, adjust the combat speed. I may I may do so. Uh, I may do so right now, in fact. Okay. Hmm. Let's let's make this a bit faster. Okay. At least just for this um, location. Uh. Ah. Okay. And we don't have enough action points for a targeted hit. I don't know where where these two guys are going. Ah, oh, there's another ghoul. Okay. Hmm. Can I hit him from here? No, I can't. No, I have to don't have enough action points. Hmm. Yeah, anyways, uh, enemies will just walk away when they are. when they know that they are losing. that they can't win this fight. Um. I hope I didn't... Hmm. Okay, the others... Don't seem to be, gr be aggressive. Okay. Uh... Okay, we should look for this water place. That's what we have... Come here for. On the other hand... That guy wants to provide me with some experience. I'm glad to have that. Um. I think. Yeah, we will go a bit over time for this episode. Maybe fifth. And how are you shooting through the wall, Tichu? Anyway. I think that 50 minutes is not, um, I mean, that's a, not so, such a good time limit for an RPG. And there's one more hostile. I actually don't know whether um, enemies killed by your companions amount to the same. Um, actually give you experience or whether they give you the same experience as if you would have killed them yourself. 
And apparently there are even more enemies. But I think there was a way to highlight all the hostiles in this game, but I forgot how. Okay, that's the last one apparently. Yeah, he is dead. I mean, more dead than before. Okay. So we should, um, yeah, avoid these ghouls if possible. Do a bit more exploration. Hmm. There seems to be a large amount of foot traffic in the area, possibly leading to a manhole cover. Uh, wait, in what area? This area? Well, there's a manhole cover. And how did you just open that without a manhole cover opening device? Whatever it's called. You just opened it with your bare hands, did you? Okay. Well, when we come back, folks, uh, not only will we probably continue to open manhole covers with our bare hands, but we will also get down to the sewer. Oh, how I not like sewer levels. Okay. So until next time, folks, um, till then.